So I'm just going to show you how I get the rest of this this uh, wallpaper border off. So I like using just the spray bottle. I mean, it seems to just cover a lot better, and then I like cover the the paper with uh, water better. And then for any runs down the wall, I just have my rag to to stop them from running. So you just want to wet it up. Make sure you get all the spots. It'll just make taking it off that much easier. I let it just soak in. Because you don't want it to dry. And you want every spot to be wet with water. So see, there's a little bit of runs coming down the wall. I just don't want them going down onto the baseboard, really. So usually, by the time that these water runs stop, then it's time to use the 6-inch drywall knife. Yeah, that should, that should be good. So, I just set down that stuff. I have a garbage bag nearby. And then this should just come right off. Whoops. <laughs> you might take some of the paint off. But that's all stuff that will be fixed up with drywall compound anyway, so. so you should be able to get six inches at a time. Um, I find it just works a little easier to go up like this. Now, see, there's a little bit of water running down the wall. So you just, that's why you just want to have that rag handy. Wipe that up, and then while that's on there, you, you can run it just over the sections that you've taken off. Just to clean it up. You will want to just make sure that there's no leftover glue from the wallpaper on the wall. Once it starts to dry up again, it will get harder to remove. You'll feel it just a little bit more. Um, just a little, you'll need a little bit more power. See that section's there starting to dry up. So it's kind of time sensitive as far as having, you know, come off nice and nice and easy without any issues. So yeah, that was fairly good. And now uh, just move on to the next sections and I have a little bit more to, to get off, but it's going not too bad.